Welcome back, oil and gas collectors. I am in in Budo, New Mexico, on my way to Iowa, and I am visiting Johnny Meyer, who owns and operates this gas and oil museum called Classical Gas. I am. Are you Gas Pump Rob? Yes. This You're is famous, man. You're famous. Thank you. Wow. How about that? Gas Pump Rob has come to my place. Wow. Well, you know what? I'm really excited because <laughs> I came out here to visit you about 20 years ago, and it was my first trip out to Iowa Gas. And this time, I thought, you know what? I want to go out of my way to come back and see your collection. Wow, you're making me feel special. <laughs> well, the fact that you allow the public to come in here makes you special, and I appreciate that. Well, yeah, it's um, very rewarding. Uh, this is open to the public. There's, I'm a terrible businessman. There's no admission charge, no parking charge. There's no walking the dog charge. There's no photography charge. There is a video charge. No, just okay. <laughs> No problem. But yeah, it's just open to the public for free. And uh, what makes it fun is it really brings a smile to a lot of people's faces. You know, they appreciate it on a historical level and on an artistic level. And, and I'm smiling right now. Yeah. And because I'm located on a tourism highway between Santa Fe and Taos, I get visitors from all over the world. Earlier this week, I got visitors from France and Pakistan and amazing that's incredible well you know the people from the foreign countries they look at this and it sort of makes them smile as um you know kind of americana you know the, yes some of the you know it kind of says america to you there are people all over the world that like to collect american car culture memorabilia gas station memorabilia you're right about that a few years ago I had a guy from stuttgart germany here and uh, he decided to buy nine gas pumps. Is that right? Nine. Wow. So I put them on pallets and uh, took them to Albuquerque, and he arranged for shipment to Stuttgart. And he had a store there in Stuttgart where he sold uh, like American stuff, like pinball machines and jukeboxes and gas pumps and old American cars. Right up our alley. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, if you don't mind, walk through the interior of your museum yes. and shoot some video clips yes. and then i'll put together a nice video for youtube and hopefully more people will discover you after this uh yeah i like it when people drive by and are just surprised to see all this and, you know, oh, it's... i like hearing the tires squeal out the <laughs> and then people honking their horns behind the other people you know. yeah, well yeah it's, it's fun it is fun well thank you very much yes sir
Johnny, tell me about this tank wagon here, this horse-drawn tank wagon. Isn't that a goofy thing, using horses to deliver gasoline? That's what this is about. I mean, if you look in the front of the wagon, you'll see the uh, seats for the wagon driver. And uh, turns out this was owned by Roy Hanstein, uh, a local jobber uh, about 20 miles from here. <laughs> Had this uh, wagon restored to pull in parades uh, downtown about oh, 20 miles. And neat. He would hook up his horses and pull this wagon. and It'd be a big hit, you know, during the parade. Uh, but he got into his 80s, him and his wife, and they decided they were going to retire from parading. <laughs> okay. So they were looking for a home for this wagon because they had this under a tarp, you know, and they said, oh, we need a home for this where people can enjoy it. And so they came to my house and said, um, we want this wagon here. And we're we're going to offer you a deal you can't refuse. It turned out to be true. <laughs> It so, couldn't. It couldn't have found a better home. I, I think so. I love this thing. And um, one thing they told me about this wagon is they sent these wheels off and shipped them off to the Amish people, and got these wheels restored because they wanted this to be, uh, you know, a very professional type restoration. Yeah, the Amish people are very good with skilled uh, craftsmen. Yes. Ship. Especially with woodworking. Yes. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna get around to the front of it. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Johnny, I have never owned a Wayne 866 before, and I really appreciate you selling me this pump today. Where did it come from? Guy called me up from uh, South Central New Mexico. He had a ranch down there. It was one of these things, he says, I got an old gas pump you might be interested in. And said it was about six feet tall, and I said to myself, yeah, that sounds like a 30s pump, so. I said, yeah, I'll come down and look at it. I came down to look at it and uh, took my breath away. Holy mackerel. Not only was it a Wayne 60, it was a Wayne 60 clock thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. It's uh, really cool to find one out in the wild like that. Yes. So and I, yeah. I am very excited to take this home back to California uh, to put in my collection. 
Well, this guy here, Rob, I'm talking to, he's a really weird guy. He actually likes the guts in the pumps. Yes. So uh, <laughs> normally these would be gone, but I've been a little lazy with this pump. So I got Rob, lucky. Rob got his wish. Yay! Six six <laughs> with the guts. But All now right. we're gonna have fun watching him haul this out on a dolly with the guts in it. He's gonna be grunting. Let me tell you. You better believe it, and I'll be <laughs> smiling while I grunt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I think this one I'm gonna have to strap because it's so heavy. You asked for it, buddy. <laughs> Now we could gut this thing right now, you know. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> no gut. No guts, no glory. That's right. And here he goes, folks. He sort of looks like he has it under control. We'll find out. Oh, look how fast he's moving. Seems to be in a hurry. Watch out for the gate on your right. Okay, you're so far so good. Look at this guy. I have to get out of here very quickly before you change your mind. <laughs> Probably the last 866 I'll ever have. Maybe, maybe not. There's a lot of pumps out in the wild still. You never know. I, I know that's true. This part's tough. So now he's rolling on gravel and the wheels are going to be sinking into the gravel. It makes it extra hard. He's undaunted. Look at him. Like that NFL running back. So far so good. He's got it on the lift gate. The hard work is done. He made it look easy, but it ain't. And up she goes. Look at him. He's proud of himself. Thanks again. A very special thank you goes out to Johnny Meyer of the Classical Gas Museum in Embudo, New Mexico. If you ever find yourself in this area, please stop by. Johnny would love to meet you and show you his wonderful museum collection. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. There are more videos coming soon. Take care.